hello friends welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome my name is Anissa Fon and if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to help this channel grow if you're all member you're welcome back today I'm going to show you on how to sew this top step by step so if you want to know how I go about it keep on watching here I have my pieces that I already created to join in my last video okay so I have my two back right here why I didn't have an inch at this top part I have the center the two center front as well and for my straps what I did was to go ahead fold half inch and half inch in what I pressed then I press it again at the center the next thing I will do now is to go ahead I will start pinning all my pieces together now the next thing I will do is to go ahead to remove all the pins I will start pinning them up together but what I did was to go ahead and I lay an interfacing to my main piece so that it will be firm all right it should have some stability that's why I added interface into it now I'll just go ahead now and pin them up together the two center front I'm going to be pinning them up together like as you can see me doing then I'll pick the other side as well and pin them up So now I'll pick this other piece. I will go ahead to pin it up. But later on, I had to cut it because I was going. To, I cut about half an inch because I'm going to be adding loop to my top. So once I'm done pinning, we're going to take it to the machine. I will be stitching half. That's three quarter inch, three quarter inch, and here at the center I will stitch half inch because that is what I added. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is to move that aside. Then I'm going to use my, for my straps, I'll just go ahead and stitch it up here. All right. When I was done stitching, this is what the top is looking like, as you can see so far. And I also did the same thing to my lining, all right? This is my lining. I went ahead and stitched it up without adding any interface into it. And I also stitched my straps. Then we're going to be using this for my loops later on. First thing I will do now is to move the straps aside. We'll go ahead now to pin the right side of my pieces facing each other I'll pin them up pin the top part then I'll go ahead now just trim all the excess hanging around and make what sure I, I pin my then I'm going to be adding my like like hemming gum everything is going to stay in therefore when we are it pressing it, it making sure this is happy hemming gum so that okay. when I press it up the thing should lay flat. As you can see, I'm stitching following that half inch I added. After stitching, I'll just go ahead to notch it. Then I will trim all the excess, okay? Then I'll flip it to the right side. After uh Flipping it to the right side, I make sure I remove everything out and I will go ahead to press that up to lay it flat. So I went ahead and press it up. As you can see, this is what it's looking like at the inside. Very neat. And the next thing I did was to fold half an inch and press inside here. Okay. The top is looking so beautiful. Next thing I will do is to go ahead and cut my loops off two two inch each. After cutting, what I will do is to go ahead to mark where I want the loops to be. I will just mark 2 2 inch each. Alright. Count them up. If it is 4, I will just go ahead and mark the next one here. Then I will just be folding my loops into 2. Put in between that space. 
and pin them up. Right here and pin. Do the same thing here and pin. Then I also do the same thing to the other side as well. Pin it up. While pinning, you should make sure everything should be the same, all right? When I'm done pinning, we'll take it to a machine and stitch like this. You want to secure it twice, okay? Stitch like this. Now I went ahead to stitch that up and I also did the same thing to the other side. Now we're going to go ahead now and add the straps to it and we are done with this top. So let me know what you think about this uh, top, if it was helpful to you. Okay, just let me know at the comment section. So I'll go ahead now to add my straps to it. I'll be crossing it up, but you can add them up anyhow you want it to be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you my next tutorial. Bye-bye.